So down here for a second day in a row, pretty much the same beach. Still windy. Yeah, for another sea snake. So this will be our 20th sea snake since living in Ivy Bay. What's that? It's like the same spot. It is, eh? Is this where it's hard? Yeah. It is the same spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, I was on the same beach there, yeah, that one yesterday. This looks like another elegant from here. Hey, hey, he's going. Thank you very much. It is, it's another elegant. There have been so many. We have been getting one of these a week at the moment. Hey, this is the, actually this. We got one yesterday off this same beach. Hey, you okay? They're called the elegant snake. Uh, elegant sea snake. Yeah, this spe uh, this genus is Hydrophus, so it can be very hard to tell the different species. But we do we're we're starting to do a few of these now. So if it has more than uh, if it only has about thirty spots, most of the time in Harvey Bay it'd be the olive-headed sea snake. Okay. But judging by just a glimpse, this has at least thirty-five. The elegant sea snake will have thirty-five to fifty of these bands. But then there's so many different other species that are very similar related and can be hard to tell. So that's why it's good if you get if you get one that's like a yellow belly or something easy to tell. The Jubois is easy to tell. But the hydrophus. But I just wonder how many actually wash up because I've got the feeling even most of them go unnoticed or people just don't even care enough to. Some people throw them back, which is the worst thing. We dangle it by the tail, we can actually separate its vertebrae. Once they're out of the water, their their body, their skeletons, like that, they're not the, the rest of their body is too heavy for their skeletons oh, okay. because the dense, their buoyancy okay. is different out here. And that, that makes them a bit slower. Oh, well, it means that well, they can't really move very well. But it means if I lifted it up by a tail, yeah, it'll yeah. separate the vertebrae. That's why when people yeah. lift them up and throw them back in the ocean. They probably just break their back and then the snake drowns. Uh, so that's why, yeah, so that's why when we lift them, we've got to support so many parts of their body. Okay. Yeah. So just bringing him over to this bay, to this side of the break wall, where it's heaps calmer. Because it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with this guy. Just can't compete with this turbulent ocean. You don't want to come down and say goodbye, darling? I can't get down there. Oh, you could. He's a good looking snake. Here you go, mate. Hey, best of luck to you, little dude. Still feels weird putting a snake in the bloody ocean, eh? Keep an eye on him, make sure he's alright. Oh, look at him go! Look at him go! Is he going down? He is, he's going down. That's good, that's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Oh, good on him. <laughs> 